So far we have learned how to install Apache, MySQL, PHP and a mail server on our server. Now you must be wondering how we are going to access our server by domain name instead of this hard to remember IP address. To do that there are several ways you can do that but the key method is simple by using a DNS server like bind. There are two methods to have your DNS server connecting to your domain to your server. First you can simply use DNS management service which is usually offered freely by the domain registrar or their services like afraid.org or cloudflare. They offer you the DNS management services for free. The another and the recommended method is that you install and set up your own DNS server right inside your server to manage how the domain revolves to your server. In this tutorial that's what we are going to learn. To install DNS server we are going to use the apt-get command apt-get install bind 9 and press enter we will ask for confirmation type y for yes and press enter now we are installing the packages it has installed the bind server let's do some configurations let's type in nano slash pdc bind main dot quincy dot local press enter now we are inside the nano editor I'm going to use some zone settings you, you can copy these settings from the description I have I will add them to the description so you can use them inside your file make sure you change Bollywood 5 with your own domain name otherwise it's not gonna work let's copy this text and paste it inside the configuration file and if you can remember to save a file in nano text editor we use the buttons control O and then it would ask for confirmation and press enter to exist the uh, nano editor we press control x now let's go to the bind directory to make more setting to do this we use the cd command it is c bind and we are inside bind Let's create a new directory called zone. To create a directory, we use the command mkdir and call it zones, and then press enter. Then we're gonna create a file name for our domain name. Let's do this by nano, and I'm going to use my domain name dot db that's not the ex domain extension that's actually the database uh, please don't forget to replace polyv5.com with your domain name and don't forget to add dot db at the end of it now press enter now we are inside the uh, nano editor again there are some lots of the main con this is actually the main configuration settings configurations we are going to make I've noted them down here I will add them to this description so you can just simply replace the file Bollywood 5 domain name and the my IP address with your own IP addresses uh, mostly for a DNS server you, you will have to use two IP addresses but for this tutorial I'm going to use only one single IP IP address but it is recommended to use two different IP addresses 
for two domain uh, name servers you can buy additional IP addresses from your server provider it costs around three to five dollars per month so I've already added my IP addresses let me show you where I did the domain name and IP address here is the volume 5 and then again volume 5 volume 5 Bollywood 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 5 and my IP address here my IP address here IP address my domain IP address and again my domain and the IP address and from here you can uh, change your name server to whatever you name it I'm just calling them NS1 NS2 you can if you want to call and give it a different name you can just simply whatever add, you can add whatever you want to add make sure you update all of them let's go ahead and copy this all of this text and paste it this in this nano editor make sure all of the entries have been added and then simply save the file to do to save a file we use the control o and then press enter and exist the nano editor with control x now we are going to define reverse dns lookup to do that we need to edit another file type in nano it is c bind zones rev dot three or two dot one and dot in dash add or sorry dot a R P A and then press enter now I'm going to use some more configuration settings which I will add them to the description so you can copy and paste make sure you replace my domain name with your domain name this is very important do not make any mistake simply copy and paste it to the nano editor and save the file with control o enter control x to exist now we are done not done yet we are going to edit another file nano c resolve down door configuration now we are inside this file we are going to add our domain name here enter search and then your domain name body file please replace it with your own domain name and leave the name server to a dot a dot a dot eight and same as the second one and then save the file by pressing control o and control x to make sure everything is working properly we are going to reboot the bind 9 server to do that simply type in slash hc dot init or D by nine and restart we have successfully rebooted the bind server now we are going to update our name server details in our domain registrar's website every domain registrar registrar have different kind of interfaces and they call those settings they have different names for those settings for this tutorial I'm going 
to use Namecheap because that's where I bought the domain from and to register a name server you just, you just simply go to the uh, domain manager and then you click on your domain name and then you go to the name server registration from here you can add the name servers which is ns1 ns2 we have added two name servers and we are going to use the same IP address for both of these so type in your IP address and then click on add name servers because I have already registered the domains and domain names so it is showing me this error error message but if you if you are adding them for the first time it should work it should show the congratulation message and once that is done go to the domain name server setup and make sure your domain uh, name servers are correct in my case my name servers were ns1 ns2 and these are correct that's it uh, and if uh, if you are fam uh, if you have changed dns server settings before you must you are must be aware of that it usually take around 24 hours uh, for your domain to resolve to your server but sometimes it takes faster and done within few hours so it is probably going to take some time that's it for this tutorial